All right, guys, Nick Droso. So I got a question is, Nick, how do I defend against a chain? Uh, but before we start, guys, I just launched my brand new Tactical Edge program. I'm doing a pre-order. It's 50% off right now. So click the link. This is a full action-packed knife defense program. 12 lessons, over 20 drills, and 20 full-out scenarios, as well as the manual guide. It's a full, complete program. So do the pre-order, check it out, click the link. Now, how do you defend against a chain? Now, the first thing with the chain, Costa, pick up the chain anyway. How would you swing it? Press this out of the right way. Nah. So just let him right there. Now, look at, now start swinging it, Costa, a little bit. Like if he was here, swing it, swing it. Oh, like, he, Right, obviously it's more used as a range, right? So you have this aspect where the person can hold it this way to just start whipping the person. Uh, the, the hard part about the chain, it's a little bit harder to control than the stick because there is, there is a movement and kind of like a whipping going back and forth. Obviously now we're looking at it from a more close quarter. Now the concept, whether we're looking at a bat, a stick, it's the hard part, and I talk about this in my program, is every time I'm moving back, I could never move back faster than he's gonna move forward. So at some point, I need to step in. Now, whether it's a stick or a bat, the dynamics don't change so much. The dynamics of the weapon does, but the concept of what I need to do, if I'm here and he's, up and he's swinging and he's doing this, and he's gonna go ahead and he's swinging, at some point, I got move, I wanna step in and I wanna trap. Once I trap, I want to isolate the weapon. Now, it depends whether I trap it here, here, if I come up here. Once I trap it, I pin it. You need to, the concept, again, it's about concept. I'm not going to teach you a hundred different memorized movements. The idea is to trap, to isolate the weapon and any way you can. Once you do it, you don't let go. Wherever he moves, start moving, I move with him. From there, I need to go into my strikes. Elbows, headbutts, knees, use the wall to pin and strike the attacker, okay? So, come a little bit closer. So the idea, again, if I'm here, let's say, so hold the chain. If I saw him here and he's just holding the chain and he's doing this, right? Now again, now he, now he held it differently, right? This is now, he has a better grip. Start swinging it. I really want to start moving. Like, see, every time I'm moving back at some point, right now, I wouldn't be moving in. I would let him get a little bit closer and commit and at some point explode. I could also do something that if he's here, boom, I'll just throw my, my hat or throw anything I can to again, create a flinch response for me to enter. Okay, so again, it's all about learning the, the, the concepts and the principles. As long as I'm moving back, he's, his, his, his momentum is gonna be moving forward. At some point, I need to shift it and step in. So I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. If you wanna learn more self-defense, go visit my website, nickjoseph.com. Check out the pre-order on the knife defense. It's at 50% off. Uh, this is only while it's on pre-order. So go check it out. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stand strong.